Hello, my friends. Last week, I got to speak at my first in-person event since COVID began, and I gotta tell you, I missed the energy of being around people, participants, and other speakers. And one evening during the conference, I got to have dinner with a few of my speaker friends, and I was sharing the good news about Evan and how well he is doing. But the truth is, just a few weeks ago, we were in crisis, like so many families are right now. And I was kind of lamenting all of the things that we had gone through. And one of my dear friends and fellow leadership speaker, Sarah Cannaday, listened intently, asked lots of questions, and just gave me a hug. So the next morning, we're getting ready to speak, and Sarah comes up to me, and she said, Anne, I want you to have this. It's a worry rock. Now, I've been told my entire life that I worry too much. It's something that I've continued to work on, and while I'm making progress, I still have a long way to go. But Sarah gave me this rock and told me to rub it anytime I started to feel worried, and I've been carrying it ever since. So one of the things that it reminded me of is a resilience building strategy called resourcing. And resourcing means that you gather either mental tools or physical tools that help you when times are tough. So for me, some of my resources are my dogs. I snuggle with them. Swimming, it helps me kind of stay focused and fresh. Um, I even have a blanket that I've had since I was a little girl that every once in a while provides some great reassurance. So what are your resources? It could be focusing on your strengths. I remind myself that I have gotten through everything I've been faced with so far and I'm still standing. It could be focusing on your strengths like your tenacity and never giving up or physical resources like a worry rock or a plant or dear friends. When we have difficult times, it's hard at that moment to search for the resources that we know help us. So make a list of the things that give you comfort. A hot bath, a warm cup of tea, a great movie, whatever it is, there's nothing too big or too small that can serve as your resource so that when you are going through challenging times, you have something that you can tap into to give you strength. So Sarah, if you're watching, thank you for the Worry Rock. It was truly a, a gift from the heart and it means the world to me. I hope that you guys will take some time to list out some of your resources so that when you're faced with stress and struggle, you have something to turn to. Stay brave and stay resilient.